Hello and welcome to SideJoy. We're at Space Camp. Down in Huntsville, Alabama, Andrea gave us a tour of Space Camp. We climbed inside Shuttle Enterprise, explored various space station modules, toured a lunar outpost, examined the area for performing spacewalks, hopped in the Orion capsule, and walked through a few of the mission control rooms. Space Camp astronauts are trained for positions like Commander, Pilot, Mission Specialist, and Payload Specialist. They are first trained in a classroom before jumping into the simulators where they have to complete missions. The switches in the simulators are connected to computers, so altering the switch position changes the instrument reading inside the vehicle, the views out the windows, the monitors and mission control, and even the instrument readings on the objects outside the spacecraft like satellites and ammonia tanks that are under repair. Dangling from harnesses, campers are able to repair external tanks or damaged space shuttle tiles during their spacewalks. Some spacewalk training requires a multi-axis hovering chair. It floats like a puck on an air hockey table. And when you're in this chair, turning a wrench might spin you instead of spinning the bolt. Campers also get to build structures, and if they don't properly close lids or tether their supplies, then pesky space ghosts are gonna come and take them away. This reminds the campers that items in space tend to float away and wander. In addition to being ghosts, counselors create anomalies for astronauts and mission control to figure out and overcome. The space shuttle docks with the International Space Station, and the crews assigned to the different modules perform a variety of science experiments. They will also be required to monitor and maintain all the systems aboard the space station. The Orion mission takes a crew to the moon. The Orion capsule launches, docks with the Altair lunar lander, flies to the moon, and then lands near a lunar base. Commercial crew simulators such as the Dragon capsule are also being developed for space camp. Orion has its own mission control room. The lunar outpost has its own set of experiments. Several of these include exploring plant growth beyond the conditions we have on Earth. Food was being grown using hydroponics. Lunar astronauts also have to do spacewalks to repair equipment, and sometimes a nice little rover will help them find the damaged areas. Thanks for watching this episode of SciJoy, and let us know in the comments if you've ever pretended to be an astronaut. And remember, keep exploring. Do you like the real one? No, it's much roomier. <laughs> <laughs>